I'm not the one to, to narrow down to a specific um, and to pull from my memory like that, but it's not hard to find that information. I'm going to have to, um, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go buy a Bible. I hate spending my money on that kind of nonsense. I'll buy a Bible between now and the next show, and uh, I'll find it in there. And if somebody reminds me not to forget, I'll give the answer then. Um, if no one has any questions for this dedicated strictly to question and answer show, um, and no one has any comments and no one has any complaints, I guess we can get back into the spiritual stuff because, you know, and I'm starting to have doubts as to whether how much of that I should give people because it was brought to my attention that um, one, people became frightened and terrified and scared. Something I said in the last show spooked people. It's like, well, how did y'all forget from politics and history to this, this spiritual metaphysical. I'm not into metaphysics. I don't know nothing about metaphysics. I just know about spiritual. When I say spiritual, I'm talking about the spiraling vortexes of energy that we all live and move and have our being in. And, the, you know, the whole thing is about spiring, and spirit is that which spires and the air that you breathe. All the galaxies are spiraling, and the solar systems are spiraling and spinning. The planet we're on is spiraling and spinning. The oceans are spiraling. When you let the water go down the drain in the bathroom, it's spiraling. Um, Melanin-rich people have this spirally hair that people call naps. If you're melanin-rich, you also have these uh, trillions upon trillions of melanocytes, and these things are all spiraling, spinning little like little eyes. People are running around talking about trying to uh, activate the pineal and the third eye or really the pituitary and the pineal, um, third, fourth eye, whatever. People are, are talking about activating those when, when you're melanin rich, you have a lot more eyes working than the average bear. But uh, uh, the reason I'm saying, saying this is because, one, I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm not trying to spook you. I'm trying to take the spookism out of science. Two, it was brought to my attention that there were people inside the chat room, which I don't look at chat rooms. I don't even monitor the stuff. I don't even have the computer on. Like now, I don't even have the computer on. Um, somebody was, uh, a couple of people were saying, well, yeah, when she teaches us how to become invisible, I'm going to go rob a bank. If you have nothing better to do with the information I'm giving you to free the world and save the children, then I, I, I need to keep the information to myself. And it's unfortunate that, you know, maybe a handful of people are spoiling for everybody else, and I don't know if they were being serious, being in jest, or joking because they don't believe in the stuff anyway, and, you know, who believes in this and who believes in that. I can only speak to things that I know about. I know about telepathy because I use it with certain people. I know about astral projection, cause, uh, astral projection because I do it and have done it. And once you learn how to get out of your body on purpose, then you know you're not going to die. You know what I'm saying? And unlike most people that are running around on the planet trying to see if their lover is cheating on them or trying to spy on their bosses and coworkers and other ridiculous nonsense and spy on their children, me, when I'm out, I'm off the planet. I get out of here, you know. But uh, everybody's on some whole other stuff. And, and, and if you're thinking like that, then either you haven't listened to any of the shows that predated this one. Today is show number nine, and I've asked everyone to try and catch up on all of the shows before you get to this point. Because one thing that goes wrong with me and the information that I give people is when people take it out of order, it usually causes people to take things out of context. And I usually try to give everything in an order and build on it. Like the people that watched How to Survive the Fall of Rome on YouTube before they watched Piercing the Fog on YouTube. You can't, you know, if you're already at a certain level, then you can watch things out of order. But if a lot of this is new to you, and for most people, most of the things that I talk about are new to you. If this is new to you, you can't take me out of order because you're going to get lost and you're going to become misinformed about what I'm saying. And I'm still sitting here with this strong exhaustive concordance in my hand. Uh, and I don't know why. I have, I have questions about pendulums. Pendulum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this your question or someone in the chat room? <laughs> it's my question. 
Um, I yeah. recently bought one, and, like, everybody in my house is scared, and they was like, why do you need that for? And um, because I bought it uh, from the Internet, and they was like, oh, you don't know who um, where you bought it from and who, who, um, who you're buying it from. Um, my question is, um, am, are they right or am I wrong? <laughs> You're both right. You're all right. When it comes to things like that that you acquire from other people, um, it's always good because all things emit a, 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 an energy field. And anything that um, an individual acquires or uses for any extended, for any period of time will pick up some of their resonance if that makes any sense. That's why dogs can follow people's scents and um, people that are, are, are uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a word for it, and I, I don't want to misquote it here. Ah, I want to say, no, it's not telekinesis. Is it telekinesis? It may be telekinesis. No. Yeah, I think it may be telekinesis. Or, or people that can do psychometry, meaning that they can take a thing that someone has have had before or worn and they can hold the thing um, and tell you about the person that wore it. And if it was owned by multiple persons, they can follow the chain of people that had it because of the, the energy and the resonance stays with, a partic with the piece, especially if people haven't made any effort to cleanse the piece. But uh, if a person is real tuned in to their... Um, uh, psychometry or whatever, or that, that may not even be the word. I can't think of the word I'm looking for when you can hold a thing and read who has had it and read about the person that had it before. And a lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but that's just too bad. Just because you don't believe in things don't mean they're not happening. Um, but um, somebody that's tuned in, even if you call yourself cleansing it, you can take the energy off of it. I mean, you can't take the energy off of it where they can't read it. But if you are an individual that has um, um, done a lot of work um, or you just happen to have certain gifts that are innate in you, which many people do and they don't tap in because they're scared of them, things like that, and they've been told it's a bad thing, um, then you should have no fear about who had a thing before you had it because it is what you think it is, it is what you say it is, and it is what you believe it is. Now, these, what kind of um, stone is it? I'm assuming it is a stone. Is it crystal or is it some sort of a quartz or, or rose or jade, is it turquoise? I didn't even read it because I didn't open up the box or anything like that. Even I have like a deck of terri um, terriot cards, and everybody's like, oh, you know, why you got that? I don't mess with those things. You know, why you bought that for? You don't know where you got it from. So, but, you know, but they or both of it is supposed to be the same thing can be said. Of, the same thing can be said about a used car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The same thing can be said about an apartment that you rent or a house that you buy. If you don't buy it brand new, and most people don't get them brand new, you don't know who used to live there. You don't know who was murdered there. You don't know who died there. You don't know who was molested there. You don't know who was raped there. You know, the, 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 the fact of the matter is that either you have power or you don't. And if you have power, then you need to cleanse things that you acquire that are used. When you, acquire, when you purchase a used car, for example, you're supposed to get in that car and you're supposed to clean that car by hand, yourself, not take it to a car wash. Once you purchase the car, you are supposed to get in there. You're supposed to take that car to a place with a hose. You hose it down. You wash it off, and you take your hand, and you rub every inch of that car to dry it, to wash it. That puts your energy in it. You get in the interior. You wipe down the dashboard, the steering wheel. You clean the brakes, the pedals. You clean the whole car. With your hand, with your energy, that puts your power on it. That doesn't always remove all of the resonance, resonance and residue of a prior owner, but you put your power on it. You are supposed to know that you are more powerful than these people, whoever they were. You know? I mean, seriously, 
I, you know, if everybody's afraid of this stuff, then I have to really think about whether or not, because the, the, the reason I'm giving it at all is because I was going to do the whole resuscitating or revivification of the Americas by revivifying the Americans. And one of the things that was involved in that was, one, taking them back a little bit in the history to see and show them what is wrong and what went wrong and what the problem is and where the problems are. And the problems are all over the place. But it's kind of like Michael Jackson says, you have to start with the person, the being in the mirror. That is the being that you have the, pow the most power over. The problem with the world is there are so many people running around here that think they have power over everybody and they want to exert their power over everybody. Those are people that are functioning in the lowest possible chakras. I mean it. They are so rooted in the fear chakra and the greed chakra, which are the first and second root chakras, that they can't get past the whole, it's mine, mine, mine. We're hoarding everything because there is no such thing as a shortage. And I know I'm rambling on on some tangent that's kind of off what you asked, but then again, it's not. There's no such thing as a shortage of anything in the world. Mother Nature, or the Meta Netter, the, the empire of Earth, is abundant in all things. There is more than enough of everything under the sun to go around for everyone on the planet with the, and, and have a, a, a vast abundance of stuff left over. The only reason that we don't have that is because you have these power-hungry, fear-mongering individuals that get their hands on something and go, all the diamonds in this mine are mine, and all the oranges in this vineyard are mine, and oh, the lake here is mine, and the, 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 the rains up here are mine. And, you know, it, that is not the way of anyone that is evolving into any level of intelligence. People that are on this whole mine, 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 there's a shortage, shortage, shortage. And the reason there's a shortage and they're on some whole, we have to kill a bunch of useless eaters. They are the useless eaters. To tell you the truth, the people that are hoarding everything from everyone else and feel like they own it and it's theirs and they have the right to dictate and tell people what they can and cannot use, can and cannot smoke, can and cannot eat, can and cannot drink. Those people, they are holding the wealth and the resources and it looks like they have all the power. They are working sorcery, but they're working it from a vast, accurate place because they're stuck in fear and greed and all of the, 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 the vices that are the low chakras when you are not working with them properly. And I don't even know how we're in the, one, we're in the blazes I've got on that. I'm still trying to find uh, this information that this individual was asking about as far as, uh, uh, what do you call that, the uh, Ethiopia or whatever the case may be. And I still have this concordance in my lap. You got to bear with me because I can't find a lot of things today because the landlord, you know, had the entire building fumigated and, you know, uh, we had to empty all cabinets and empty all cupboards and had to be out of the house for a vast number of hours and, you know, I had to move a lot of stuff out and now I can't even find a bunch of things. So it's kind of kind of tough, but that's okay. I'm a little disoriented, that's all, and that's my fault. I'm supposed to have more power than that, but I don't like poison and the house is kind of poisoned, in my opinion. As soon as I figure out where I put this, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Because, you know, I was, I was okay. working more on uh, spiritual stuff. But don't, don't be afraid of the stuff. Don't, don't let other people spook you about what works for you. Follow your own instincts. That's why the planet is in trouble, because everybody's spooked out about science. Yes. Um, there's another question in the chat room about animation. They said animation. that they do animation. Yeah, but they, they said that they do animation, and um, they said they heard you mention information media for children. What do you feel is the most e effective info that could be best put forward to this art form? For animation. If the individual is an animator, there are several different options that they can look into. 
Um, they can do educational cartoons. I, there's one out there that I 